What's going on, buddy? My name is Zelprins, and welcome back to, to another... I'm going to do that again. Might as well do that intro again. What's going on, buddy? My name is Zelprins, and welcome back to yet another React Minute. Today, I got another new top five video. This is the most recent one I was talking about in my previous uh, new top five video. The one I had not reacted to. This is the most latest one that came out by the day I'm recording this was 12 days ago. And this is top five scary ghost videos that are disturbing AF. I'm not going to say it because we're only about 30 or so seconds into this video. And uh, FYI, Taz is here. She's walking around in the background. So if you see a, something moving in the background, that's just the cat. And I would like to ask you guys to like and subscribe. You guys subscribing and liking my channel raises awareness of my channel. And it helps me get out there on the internet. So with that being said, we're going to get right into today's reaction video in three, two, one, go. And like always, I always have something to drink. I don't think there's ever been a video so far I haven't had a drink with in it. Caught live on camera. This next creepy clip was sent in by John Robinson, who goes by the streamer name J-Rob. Now John frequently goes live on YouTube with his friends to talk sports and debate their favorite players and teams. Huh. But during one of these late night live streams, Something happens that shocks them all to their core. Hard. I think y'all need to build off for of those two people and a couple of more pieces. I do like RJ Barrett, but I don't know. It might be time for him to go as well. You never really Let's know. Let's see. I, I say you just build off of those people. Was that a ghost? I just personally. Oh, yo, Junebug, chill out. Yo, that wasn't even a person. Junebug, chill out. Bro, I got dude, time for this. Yo, did we catch a ghost on stream? Bro, stop. No, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Stop it. Stop hey, 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 I, I didn't see it. I, I didn't see lights. anything, man. I was looking at it. Turn on the lights. Stop that. playing, bro. I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it. I'm going to go look at it right now because it's. Sheesh. Bro. What? What? Junebug, what happened? That what? was not a person, bro. This, bro, chill out. What are y'all talking no about? Jay Rob, stop hey, playing. Yo, 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 y'all chill out, man. Hold on. I ain't with this. Bro, go watch it for you. Run it back. Somebody watch. Run back the clip. Please, somebody run back this clip. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Somebody clip that. Run it back. <laughs> An unexplained dark figure seems to walk past John's friend, Chris, even though Chris is completely alone at home. Now, freaked out, Chris turns on the light and comes back to watch. Definitely. Like, they, 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 they dope up, bro. Like, Yo, what the fuck? Yo, what the hell? Bro, what the I ain't even smoking I'm not playing <laughs> It's real now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Chris, you saw it? Did I see it, bro? Oh, what the f was bro, that? And then Chris looked both ways like he felt his energy like, bro. Hey, hey, Chris. I felt like a cold chill, but honestly, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Chris, you might want to go after that. I, I ain't even I haven't looked at bro. it. Yet. I'm gonna look at it all after the fact. I ain't look at it yet. But context, y'all. I don't know what the hell happened, but apparently, like, apparently, like something just like walked past me. Oh my and God. I feel like a chill, and then like all no. of a sudden, these J Vob, Junebug, they start wilding out. I'm just like, I'm like, yo, 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 like, what the hell is happening? Like, yo, like, a ghost just went past you. A ghost? What the There's something just went past. Yo, Jay, I'm about to look at the video right now. Hey, Hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I've, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Like, I'm not going to lie, fellas. Like, I can't even, I'm so Yo. distracted. I'm so <laughs> distracted right now, bro. Like, I, I can't even answer your question because I cannot believe what oh, I saw. God. Chris explains that he felt a chill when, whatever this is, walked behind him and he looked back, but didn't see anything. As more of their friends join the live stream, the whole group decides to watch the clip together. I don't know. I don't know what he was saying. Hey, bro. Oh, you missed it. Oh, no, no. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I felt, bro. I saw that. I saw that. I saw that. I'm telling you. I saw that. Look, 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 look. I saw that. So, what do you think happened here? Did Chris's live webcam accidentally capture a ghostly apparition live on YouTube? Chris seems almost a little embarrassed about it. 
By the way, it should be mentioned that none of John slash J. Rob's live streams have anything to do with the paranormal. If you want to take a look for yourself, you can watch this entire live broadcast over on John's YouTube channel, J. Rob. Dooms. Okay, that I have to give belief to because of the fact that he turned around and two friends saw it while the other one didn't that one was much more believable to me that one seemed more believable the fact that it was also caught live by other audience members that recorded it and sent it back to them also says something to me Today. Taz is right directly the behind me. Sean, Rocky, and Josh doing? from the YouTube channel Paranormal Nightmare oh, TV dude, guys. series I've traveled you guys to in a while. Indiana to investigate a 100-year-old church. The church is said to be haunted by the spirit of Jim Jones, an Ooh. infamous doomsday cult leader. Back in 1978, Jones was responsible for the death of his followers, a group Wait. of over 900 men, women, and children. The church no longer holds services. But visitors claim to have heard disturbing. Why have I heard this before? It sounds so. Leaf blowers are here. But that's it. Sounds so familiar. I think I may have watched the video on this at one point. Maybe not an entire video that explains everything, but a video that was talking about cults. Because that name does sound a little familiar to me i just don't know when it was because it, i've definitely heard of it i've heard about the kool-aid suicide and it was another cult where the guy literally went down in a blazing i think the guy went down in a blazing fire i don't entirely remember you can probably hear the leaf flowers if not that's great <laughs> But it just seems like I can't go one video without some kind of interruption of anything. Actually, no, it's been a long time since I've had the, them pop up in the back in the background of some of my videos. So props, I guess. <laughs> Loud, unexplained banging and footsteps. Some even claim to have seen the tragic spirit of a woman, multiple children, and a foreboding male presence that many believe to be the ghost of Jim Jones. She's just Jones. sitting behind me. Now, the Foreman brothers are, are usually doing? pretty calm and collected during their investigation. She's sitting there. But as they explore the old church, usually by now she'd jump up. Freaked out as they immediately begin to hear odd, unexplained sounds and receive disturbing. You guys can't even see her. She's right here. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> ah. Ah, shit. <laughs> I just froze my recording. Come here. Come here. Oh, here she is. Sorry about the uh, freezing webcam. I uh, kicked my wire, the, the headphone wire, which is connected all the way to the back of my computer. And somehow that froze my webcam, made it, started making it glitch. So sorry about that. And here is Taz. Hello. All right, you can let go of me now. All right, go lay down. Over there. Go lay down. Go. Oh. oh god, she's gonna jump back over here. So when she does, I'll just. Oh, wait, hold on. Here she comes. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, I guess she's staying on my lap. I shouldn't have picked her up because now she's gonna start hogging all over me. Alright. Back to the video. I uh, forgot my cursor was over at my webcam. <laughs> So I inexplicably stopped my recording. <laughs> All right, now back to the video. Messages on their spirit boxes. Hi, Taz. Oh, sh hey, Miss Teddy, I'm sitting on the wire. Don't, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss. Thank you for talking to me. Would you like to tell me what your name is? Jim, Jim, Jim. Lord. Lord. It said Jim and then it said Lord. Oh my goodness. Sean hears an unexplained bang and his spirit box begins to repeat the name Jim. The name of the infamous cult leader, Jim Jones. 
Meanwhile, as Brother Josh investigates another area of the church, he too has a similar terrifying experience. We know Jim Jones came here for many years as a child, and then he moved on and became a reverend at different churches. And then they did some very bad things. Jim. Whoa! Holy <laughs> Okay, that was loud. <laughs> what, was there a bang? I didn't hear a bang. Holy crap. Hold on. Okay. So that phone call was actually quite important, so I have no complaint there. Uh, let's continue. Once again, a loud bang immediately followed by the spirit box message. Jim, Jim cover being hair. I have the this sitting over here. The church and Foreman Brother Rocky experiences a scare of his own. Let me put my arm on the table, cat. <laughs> <laughs> what makes this piece of evidence so much more compelling? Watch as the phone is lifted up and slammed down at the exact same time the EDI alerts Rocky to a spirit being present. But now this is only the beginning of their strange night in the haunted church, because things are about to take an even more terrifying turn. Sean Foreman heads up into the dark church attic all alone to investigate, and it did not go well. Right there. Oh, spirit orb. Orbs. We got a couple orbs. Whoa! Kai! I hear you! Do you not like me talking about- Oh! Whoa! It's so freaking dark up here, I can't see. Oh crap! Yep, I'm out. Ah! It's coming! What? Bless me! God! No! Oh my god! What did you do? What did you do? Was up there just came running at me down the steps. Holy sh I'm out of here. Yep, Josh can have it. <laughs> Josh can have it. Sean is all alone when he hears loud banging coming from somewhere in the attic. Sean has had enough and hurries down the stairs to just get out of there. But something seems to come charging down the steps right behind him and he takes a rough fall down the stairs. But this story just gets even creepier. Now, the Foreman Brothers originally streamed this investigation live on YouTube, and their live audience spotted something truly chilling that the guys just didn't see. I feel like if we're going to catch something, it's going to be in the basement. Well, I think we need to go up to the um, attic. Or it'd be better we'll if I just film the anything. screen. Like if they're just watching the screen, that I won't need this light on. What do you think? Whoa, wait, what was that? Go back. Get on. What do you think? Is somebody sitting in the basement? With thousands of people watching the live feed, messages begin pouring in about this ghostly image caught on camera. Ah! You can clearly She's see standing on the wire footage. There is nothing All in right, the stairwell you're gone. to cause you're gone. <laughs> this image to appear. Is it possible this could be the spirit of Jim Jones manifesting for thousands of people from around the world to witness? An ominous, unexplained figure seems to be standing in the dark, eerily just watching the brothers as they make their way through the house. Now, could it be that... I always have that thing on me. <laughs> whatever this is, is the presence that has been terrorizing the brothers? Could it be the ghost of Jim Jones? Let I don't think it think. was. You can watch this entire terrifying investigation over on the YouTube channel, Paranormal Nightmare TV series. Okay, one, it's been a long time since I've seen them mentioned in a while. And uh, two, it most of that didn't really seem believable to me. Me, It seemed like he was like acting to be scared. At least that's what it seems like to me. So I could be completely wrong. But I'm just giving my input there. And also, Taz kept jump standing on my headphone wire, so she kept bringing my head down. 
she's sitting down now. So she has to go right now. <laughs> so I always keep that thing on me because I know when she jumps on me, she's like a furball. Well, only her. Not Luna isn't bad, but Taz is so much worse. And Taz has been joining me a lot lately for my videos. At least the last month or so, she's been joining me a lot more often. I'm sorry, Taz. You go lay down. Go on, go lay on the pillows. You like doing that. Go to sleep. You haven't slept all day. We've been up since six o'clock in the morning. You have not really slept all day. Go sit down. Anyway. We need scary videos, so if you see anything that you think would be perfect for the top five, send it to us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Resident. <sighs> this next video was the emailed resident. to me by Nukestop5 viewer Amethyst, who says that she and her husband have recently been searching for a new house. One day, their realtor reaches out to them about a house in Maine that has been empty for five years. Unfortunately, Amethyst and her husband are out of town at the time. So she asks her parents to meet up with their realtor and take a look at the house for her. Turns out the home is actually in pretty bad shape. So Amethyst's mother makes the wise decision to record a video of the house to show her daughter. When Amethyst eventually watches the footage back, she is shocked. So the back door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This is the front entry. And this is the mystery staircase that used to lead to something. And I wonder if any of these were. It's been enclosed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they work. That again? runs the kitchen. Uh, kitchen lights. So those are kitchen lights? Uh huh. Well, okay. So it's definitely going to need to fix it up. She's going to need some work. Oh, yeah. You're going to need some work. Oh, yeah. Just, 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 yeah, look at it. I said, from the pictures. Like, oh, yeah. A strange voice can be heard, and it almost sounds like it's chanting. The bizarre, unexplained chanting is then followed by a creepy whisper or sigh that seems to come from. <laughs> that, I don't know why. That sounds scared me. I guess because I wasn't ready. I was still moving around in my chair. I didn't know I was not ready for that. <laughs> for that sound. Right beside Amethyst's mother. So the back door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This is the front entry, and this is the mystery Ow. staircase. Right, hold on, my shoes gotta come off. Used to lead to something. After Amethyst asked her parents and the realtor about the disturbing audio, they are all shocked and completely confused. Because you see, none of them heard anything at the time. They heard no chanting and certainly no spooky whispers. However, both of Amethyst's parents and even the realtor agree that something about the house just quote felt off. And they didn't and buy it. Not quite right. It goes without saying that they decided not to buy the house. And just to be clear, Amethyst asked for no promotion of any kind. She was nice enough to send in her video exclusively to Nuke's Top 5 because she would just like to hear what other people think these creepy sounds could possibly be. So, what do you think? So Understandable. The door we just went out is down that little hall from the front entry. This is the front entry. And this is the mystery staircase that used to lead to something. Watcher. Popular Japanese I ain't got nothing much to say. Hey, it's Shiro this guy again. The YouTube channel Kuroshiro channel is joined by his friend Tai as they set out to explore a very secluded and ominous location, an abandoned village somewhere in the mountains of Japan. There is only one eerie entrance to the village, and it's via a tunnel that goes through a mountain with a single unexplained Tori gate right beside the opening. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Japanese culture, a Tori gate is most commonly found at the entrance of or within a Shinto shrine. I didn't know that. A structure whose main purpose is to house one or more Japanese deities. However, this little wooden gate doesn't appear to be at or near a shrine of any kind. So Shiro and his friend are a little confused and freaked out as to why it would be built right next to a tunnel. It's very inconvenient to have a village deep in the mountains like this. Hold on, there it is. Where? The Tori Gate, look. Look at your right. It's as big as a tunnel. 
こんな近いんだ。This is a tunnel, of course it is closer than that. Yes, there is. I thought I saw a shadow move at the gate. Maybe I imagined it. Could be a sign. Something is written on it. Something is written, love is. What's that stone? Love is something. Is there a shrine behind the Tori gate? You have a light. Can you give me some light? Please take the camera. I'm looking at the tunnel. Nothing's here. Now, little do the friends know that while they were distracted, something appears to be watching them from the other side of the tunnel. Oh, I didn't see that. The dark figure with no recognizable features. Unaware of the mysterious figure, Shiro and his friend decide to drive through the tunnel to investigate the abandoned village. And this is when things start to get really weird. I don't want to go under. We're going down, right? We're going down. Do you hear that? Oh my. Okay, I'm not, I'm not gonna translate it. I'm not gonna read the subtitles anymore. <laughs> While driving through the tunnel, a terrifying inhuman scream can be heard coming from right behind them. But nevertheless, they continue on. Shiro and Tai finally make it to the abandoned village and walk around inspecting wow. various houses to see if anyone could possibly still be living there. Sorry, I don't remember if Nuke said it when he was introducing uh, introducing them, but did he say why the village was abandoned? Because I honestly don't think I heard that because I was taking off my shoes. My foot started bothering me. That's why I was taking them off, just so you guys know. Uh, cause I honestly did not hear. He might have said it. Maybe he didn't. I just didn't hear it. There we go. Oh, wait. Yes. Can you go? I don't see anything. <laughs> Don't call me over there. Shiro doesn't seem to notice when a white figure appears to walk past oh, the door. Oh, that's right it. I didn't see him. it. But when he opens that door, I was looking door, for a shadow figure. Look inside. There's no one there. The two friends walk up to another house to get a better look, and they begin to hear strange sounds coming from all around them. これ<笑> I think we should go back. <laughs> Why? I didn't see anything. Oh! Oh! 
Shiro's camera captures a bizarre misshapen face watching the investigator from inside the house. Other than some strange noises and a voice, Shiro and Tai believe that they haven't really captured much of anything. Eventually, they decide to just head home. But right before returning to the car, this happens. There are no graves here. Abandoned villagers usually have grave sites. But there are no graves here. Standing behind us, I think. Watching Another us. creepy figure appears Where? to be watching the investigators from a distance. The two friends leave and return home, but when they go back through their captured footage, they discover all of these dark, unexplained, and misshapen figures that seem to be watching them as they explored the abandoned village. So just who or what is this? Could the tunnel and the strange story gate have anything to do with the empty village? Hmm. And where did everyone in the village go? Or did their spirits never actually leave? You decide. You mm. can watch this entire investigation and many more spooky videos over on the YouTube channel, Kuroshiro Channel. Just out of sight. In this next video, paranormal investigator Lee from the YouTube channel Three Spires Paranormal investigates an old abandoned building near his house in central England. The building was once a Victorian workhouse. After that, it became a hospital, and then an orphanage. Since the house has a long and somewhat dark history, Lee is curious if there might be some paranormal energy left behind. He decides to take a quick look at the old abandoned hospital, camera at the ready. As Lee walks toward the main entrance, he catches something that he doesn't even notice. Something truly bizarre. So this will be the main entrance into the actual hospital itself. Oh, I'm gone. Is that a person up there? Or is that just the chimney? Wait. What we got here then? No, Who's that was a person. I saw it. That sh is a clock. Did you see it? I did. <laughs> Through the window, someone or something oh, no. can be seen just standing in the dark inside the old abandoned hospital. The one was on top of the is, house. Its face looks disfigured and kind of contorted. Now Lee doesn't notice anything. Not even when rewatching and uploading. Wait, what the hell was on the roof? Go talk. back. Oh, I'm gone. Over here, behind. Hold on, follow my mouse. What, what was that that retreated back up there? These windows mean dark. What was that? Am I losing my mind or was that something there? Anuk, explain that. I didn't even see what was going on in there. I was looking up there. I was looking up there the whole time. Someone or something can be seen just standing in the dark inside the old abandoned hospital. And whatever it is, its face looks disfigured and kind of contorted. Now, Lee doesn't notice anything, not even when rewatching and uploading his footage to YouTube. It was actually a viewer who spotted this bizarre figure and reported it to Lee in his comment section. And that's not all that Lee appears to have captured that night. As I carefully watched Lee's footage, I noticed something. Something that even Lee and his viewers didn't see. And it's downright creepy. What was it? So I think I'm at the main entrance to that bit. Is there something in that corner? Did you see it? As Lee pans yeah, I saw that. Outside the old hospital, the small pale shape of someone or something can be seen skulking out of sight just as Lee passes. And just for comparison, here's the same area. As you can see, there's nothing there and nothing that would move. Now, when I messaged Lee to ask about this huh. figure, he was shocked. Lee says it's rare for him to capture evidence of the paranormal, so he's amazed that he captured not one, but two unexplained figures at this creepy abandoned hospital. Hmm. And to be honest, I'm not even sure myself just what these two creepy figures might be. So, I mean, honestly, I would not have noticed them. You can watch this entire investigation and many more over on Lee's YouTube channel, 
three spires paranormal. Okay, but what, 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 what was on the top? He's going to play a bonus cut, but, but what was that thing I saw at the top? Was that just my imagination of a shadow, or was it some sort of shadow figure backing up from the roof? I'm going to leave a comment after this video, after I'm done, because I want to go back and see if anybody else pointed it out in the comment section. If not, I'm leaving a timestamp of what, what the hell that was on the roof. Mick Ghost. <laughs> this next creepy video went absolutely viral oh. on TikTok, and for good reason. An average family are enjoying a fun leisure night hanging out at home when suddenly it turns into something right out of a horror movie. All right, so dad, <laughs> if you remember the I am telling you, I, I stupid can rap. Like, I can do it. I think it was like 88, 89, maybe, I don't think it was 90, maybe 87, 88, 89, they had this, um, they had this record that was a square. It was from McDonald's, but they put it in the Columbus Dispatch. But anyway, it's like a piece of paper. But you People put it looking like at that thing in the bottom bottom and left. It had like the Big Mac song on it. And if you could recite it and go go into the uh, the store, like the restaurant, and recite it, they give you free food or something. I still know the whole song. This has got to be the nerdiest <laughs> I've ever heard in my entire life. Check it out. Go. Are you posting this? I'm, like, I'm gonna post it. <laughs> well, just a disclaimer, I'm fat and I don't give a <laughs> shit. So. <laughs> so, ready? One, two, three. Big Mac McDLT, quarter pounder with some cheese, filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a happy meal, McNuggets, tasty golden, French and French. Did you see that? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Mandy, her husband Brett, <laughs> and their daughter are just hanging out together and having fun when suddenly a cup just inexplicably flies into the air and falls to the floor. Hey guys, uh, this is Mandy. This is her channel. I'm Brent. Uh, this was a follow-up to the, uh, I guess, McDonald's song solo cup flying cup incident. Uh, we were having a family night and I decided to recite the 1989 or 8 uh, McDonald's menu song and I uh, they were, thought it was funny and my daughter who was here decided to record him video me yeah. and put it on her stupid TikTok or whatever wherever she puts it on <laughs> uh, but yeah I was in the middle of trying to do the song and just have fun with it and uh, I heard something I guess you'll see me in the video um, if you pay attention I looked down at the table and I stopped singing and why I did that is because I heard something. I didn't see a cup move or anything like that, but if you go back and look at the video, you can see the cup move a couple of yeah. times. But I heard it audibly on the table. I thought it was something like a mouse or, we don't have, we don't have mice or pets. Um, basically, a little bit later, the thing moves again. I react and then it flies off the table and I about pissed my pants because I've never, ever, ever experienced anything like that. Extra. We flew out of the living room. Yeah, we actually left the living room. I was yeah. thinking about going to the Howard Johnson. Because <laughs> uh, we stayed up all night, didn't sleep very well, yeah. trying to figure out exactly what this was. I have no explanation for it. That really scared me. And I don't get, I'm skeptical about this stuff. Like, yeah. I, But when cups are flying around, there's something going yeah. on. Uh, so this is where I was sitting on the floor. This is the table. The solo cup would have been about right here. My daughter was sitting kind of in the middle of that couch and my wife was sitting on that end over there and this is the scene this is our little living room no ghosts but this is where it happened to this day the family has no idea what could have caused the cup to suddenly start moving and flip into the air and their tiktok page has no other paranormal related videos so let me know what you think Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so that you never miss a video. <laughs> also, follow me on all them socials and uh, say hi. Say hi. Hi, how you doing, man? Uh, well, I'm going to go leave that comment. I got to find the timestamp stamp, though when I saw it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Am I the only one who... Noticed the shadow here on roof at 
had, what was it? 21, 21. Okay, so I posted the comment here. Hopefully Nuke sees it because that stood out to me a little bit more because I was looking at the roof. I Originally, I was looking at this big, big chimney up here and I thought that was it. But then I saw something else right next to it, right over here in the corner. And as you can see, it recedes backwards as he's walking up. And I was focusing on that. I didn't even see that over there in the window. I was focusing more on that up there. So, Nuke, if you can debox what I have seen, go right ahead. But I am positive that that was some kind of shadow figure. <laughs> I'm positive. Because I was looking up there more than I was looking down here. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just curious if anybody else has noticed it because I want to see if anybody else noticed it in, in the comment section. I because I, I I I was focusing more on that than I was on that thing in the window. I didn't, wasn't even looking at the window the whole time because I thought he was going to talk about the thing that was I saw moving on the roof, not the thing moving in the window. But hopefully, Nuke, you see this clip. Uh, maybe it it was some debunk. I don't know, but. <laughs> It definitely had my attention up there. <laughs> so with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Nuke's Top 5 reaction video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye bye I don't know why I did the Markiplier outro. <laughs>